What's going on guys? Welcome back to Roddy's Rides. I'm your host Roddy and just remember if you're brand new to the channel go down to the description hit the subscribe button. I try my best to upload every Tuesday but life gets in the way but let's get into this video. So last video if you didn't go back and watch go back and watch last video great video but these are BBK's long tube ceramic coated headers which look beautiful in the box but they're going to look even more pretty on the car and Reason being, so last video I said this video would be the video that would be installing them, but uh, I ordered the flow tubes from BBK, which are the connectors to the long tubes, which have an O2 sensor, bung, and everything, so it should be literally chop your exhaust, put those on, should be easy sailing, straight going forth, right? That was great English. But, so, two issues real quick. So these, uh, the flow tubes that I ended up buying were two and three quarters. So, and my exhaust is two and a half. So there was a gentleman who commented down below saying I needed at least two and a half inch exhaust, which I do. So uh, I was kind of hoping I had two and three quarters so I didn't have to cut anything, everything would line up, it would go beautifully. But I'm either going to need to get an adapter to uh, fit my pipe or my old existing pipe to the new flow tubes, or I think I might run up to one of my uh, exhaust shop, not one of mine, one of my local exhaust shops that they can expand the pipe, slide it on and go from there. But I will let you know when that comes in because BBK is on back order for them and they said they won't be able to get those parts until uh, mid to late August, which is actually when I'm heading back up to school. So I'm not giving up on this. I will be installing these, but it might be a little bit later towards the end of August, unfortunately. But um, also that being said, my fuel pump, I want to install my fuel pump, but my uh, tuner is actually gonna be helping me install my fuel pump. So I'm actually also waiting on that and I would rather get long tubes take my fuel pump, get it installed, and then just do all that in one video because that would be the, well not one video, but that would be the best bang for my buck because he's gonna be the one helping me install it and also he's done many of these fuel pumps before so he'll just have, it'll be a lot easier for him to help me than me try to figure out if that makes sense. So going on from that, I'm standing out in 100 degree heat so you guys can see my ugly face because you can't see me in the shade. But um, in today's video, what my main goal is, is I kind of want to change the look up of my car. So I'm not saying my car is anything special or crazy right now, but when I was younger, I wanted bags, wide body, three piece wheels, bagged and boosted, crazy diffuser, crazy spoiler and all that. But the more I have aged and gotten older, I have become more of a person who appreciates the more simplistic builds that compared to the wild and crazy. Wild crazy is great, but probably not for a daily driver. So here's my car if you haven't seen it before. I'm on air suspension, which I absolutely love, but there's a couple things I wanna change. So I do like my rear diffuser, if you guys can even see this. Hello, focus, maybe. So I have a street arrow diffuser, which looks really good, and one of the main things that I've always been back and forth on is I love these side winglets, but I'm thinking today I might take these off and maybe just run the back or the middle part of the diffuser because I think that's probably my favorite part but I really love how this comes up and meets up with the factory OEM like little mud flap thing I love how that looks but um I don't know if I want to sell these if I take these off but that's where I'm just kind of questioning but um yeah we will see towards the end of the video if I yank these off I don't know I'm still deciding on that um next my fog lights these look awful the camera does no justice because it looks just fine, but they are foggy in person and that is a big red flag for me. Um, I did end up buying a little kit which is inside my car, but my car is locked right now and if it wasn't locked, I would pop my hood and show you the other issue, but I'll show you that here in a second. Um, I need to get these fixed because that right now this makes my car, I feel like, look like a Craigslist car, not even a Facebook Marketplace car. So I need to at least step on my game a little bit. Next thing is, is uh, I kind of want to yank off the lower grill. So I really do love the silver grills on here because I mean most Mustangs that are red and black they run all red and black things right or just any car that's black and another accent color um, so I really do like what my car looks like right now but it's just time for a change my lower chin spoiler is absolutely shot because I daily drive this car bugs get on it paint hits it I hate curbs I mean shit life gets in the way right so I want to yank that off and paint that today but yeah we'll see how far we end up getting on this so I'm gonna quit running my mouth and we'll get straight into this video, all right? Okay, now with the bumper off, first thing that we're gonna address is these headlights. So you can kinda of see the fogging in here and this drives me bananas. So I've been kinda of holding off on this because I really wanted to build my headlights 
but I don't really have the money for it right now. So what we're gonna try today is this 3M Quick Easy Headlight Restoration Kit. So I got this for like six bucks. You guys can't even see it. I got this for like six bucks at O'Reilly's. We're gonna give it a shot today and I'll review it and tell you guys if it's worth it or did I waste six bucks. But 3M is a pretty good brand, so I have pretty high expectations for it, but let's try to clear these up real quick. So step one calls for rubbing some rubbing alcohol onto the surface just to make sure it's clean make sure you have enough before you start this because i don't have that much so i'm going to make this work so oh yeah it's going to dry almost instantly thanks to the texas heat so next step includes just taping off around the headlight so you don't potentially get any clear coat around it next step is Included with the kit you have your uh, 3000 grit sandpaper and this is just light sanding going over to try to get out most of the fog. We're going to wet sand these down on both sides so they look pretty good and we'll go from there. So these are already slowly starting to look better. So I hit this with the 3000 grit, took my time, made sure everything was smooth. I would touch it, but I just actually wiped them down with isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that there's nothing on the surface to make sure it's clean. Next thing that we're about to do is we're gonna take this clear coat and slowly make passes over and over it and slowly try to even it out. And I believe we do this twice and then we let it sit five to 10 minutes in between each coat and then you should be fully all right, so I'm gonna apply this over the headlight. I got a glove to make sure I try not to get any cross contaminants here. Well, now you guys know, this will run, so go light. So I'm not gonna lie, 3M is a very good brand, but I didn't really have that high of hopes for these headlights, but wow, this looks really good. And this is one layer of clear. It's still a little bit foggy, but in the directions it says, let it sit for up to an hour before driving out on the road. But I don't plan on driving tonight. So this looks really good. Next step is, is make yourself some Cran vodka. This is all I had to go with, so don't make fun of me. But the next step is take the other clear coat wipe, go over this. And then I think next thing I wanna do is I wanna start getting this chin spoiler off and ready for paint. But let's do this real quick first. Oh wow, so much better than the first time. So the next thing I wanna address is, so definitely the chin spoiler, but this lower grill. So I really do like the silver on the red. It definitely gives it no look because everyone runs black and whatever other color they got. So I'm gonna try to take out this bottom grill since it's just a couple tabs. And I wanna see what it looks like. If not, worst case scenario is I can literally just push it on without doing anything on it. So let's see what that looks like real quick. All it is is a couple plastic tabs right back here. So I'm gonna spend the next couple minutes knocking that out. So if we stand back, we can kind of get an idea. Wow, it's shaded now. But coming up, you can kind of see what the bumper looks like. Yes, there are those tabs of red on the inside, which who knows if I was really dedicated, I might just cut that out. Here, let me get up a little closer so you guys can get a better look. So it's a little bit more open. I don't know how I feel about it. Luckily, it's very easy to pop on the lower grill onto here. So I think I'm gonna leave this off for now, start painting the chin spoiler, and I'll put it on, see what it looks like. If I don't like it, then I'll pop in the grill again. But I don't know, I kinda wanna see my intercooler I paid actually reasonably not that much money for. So uh, onto the next thing, I'm gonna be yanking off this chin spoiler, which is two screws and a front bolt up front. So pretty simple. So by no means am I a painter or paint worthy to share knowledge, but what I got here is I got a spray bottle. I'm gonna quote unquote wet sand it with this sandpaper. This is 320, should probably go a little bit higher, but you know, I'm gonna eventually buy a new one of these chin spoilers. It was cheap, 100 bucks off eBay, so I'll buy a new one eventually, but I just want something quick and easy. I got some black spray paint that I probably bought a year ago, and I got some clear that's probably the same time I bought the black. So next thing I'm gonna do is wash this off, wet sand it, paint it, clear it, call it a day, throw it back on the car, boom. Oh, wow. Come on. Where's my water pressure? Ah, there we go. Oh. Well, I guess I got two pieces of sandpaper. 
or the merrier, I guess. All right, right now I'm battling sunlight, but um, I have it all dried off, all the water's off. I'm gonna hit it with some isopropyl alcohol just to wipe off, clean off the surface before I lay down some paint. Looks pretty good, I'm dirty, and uh, there's the sun. So you kinda see where we're at. Can I talk? Sure, come up here and talk to me. I don't wanna talk. I don't. Should I get a close up? Go for it. Oh, but Good I don't. I'm not a good. Ooh, ooh. A good paint job is all about prep. And this is going to come out shitty because I didn't prep it very well. But it's a 10 footer. And you guys aren't here to take advice on how to paint. So. This is taking longer than expected. My arms are tight. <laughs> Well, I'm not Joe. Should I go down like this? Oh my god, I'm so good at this. Screw Joe and Tanner, just hire me. Honestly. Now we're gonna let it, now we're gonna let it sit there for five to ten minutes and then we'll do a second coat. Wow, these headlights look brand new. I'm actually really impressed of how well that did. Oh, it did better than me peeling off this tape, I can tell you what. Damn. Damn. And just letting you guys know, it is VMP, so if you guys ever had any doubts. Don't get me wrong, I love the uh, street arrow, rear diffuser and all this, but I don't know, I kind of want a switch up and just a change of pace. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to yank off these side little canards, I don't know what you want to call them, and uh, see what they look like. Without, or well, see what the car looks like without them. I don't know. I just kind of want something different for now. Oh, wow. Hello. I was not expecting. Oh. All right. Now with the side canard off. I don't know. I've always loved how it came up on the stock mud flaps, but I don't know. Oops, sorry. Let me get a better shot for you all. So, no canard. Oh, here, I'll scoot this way because now you can kind of see it. It's kind of blended in, but canard. So, I took off this canard. I think I'm going to leave the middle one because, I mean, I've always really liked that one. But I think I'm going to leave it just like this for a minute unless, who knows. I'll make up my mind here eventually, but uh, I kind of like the difference right now. Um, I think I'm going to throw my car back together and then I'm going to show you guys tomorrow morning so you guys can actually see what the car looks like just because, I mean, headlights look incredible, but the sun is going down. It's hard to see anything. And plus, I'm just going to quit filming, set the camera down, knock out my chin spoiler. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Roddy's rides, tired. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it is the next morning, so I ended up working a little bit through the evening. Why can't you guys see me? I ended up working a little bit through the evening, and uh, the car looks significantly better, so I'm really glad I took the time to do this, but uh, I wish I could have filmed the rest of it, but I mean, nothing that crazy, you know? But um, I'm still kind of on edge about, I know you guys can't see because of course everywhere, uh, the cars in the shade is where I wanted to show you. The side markers, or the whatever you want to say, the canards on the side, I don't know, I kind of like it off. Definitely a switch up, a little different. I don't know, I kind of want to take off the rear diffuser, but then, this is actually me aired out, but then it makes my car look higher up, so I don't know. That looks all right. Um, coming around up front, um, this is where I think the biggest difference happened. So, chin spoiler looks great. Looks really good, very happy how that came out. But the headlights look brand stinking new. Kind of crazy, well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but on camera, of course, it doesn't really look that different, but it looks really good, very happy with that. And I tried to take off, or well, I did take off the lower ground. I took a photo, so I'll throw it up on screen real quick, but it just did not look good because there's uh, the plastic on the sides that interconnect, so I would have to cut that out, and I just wasn't a big fan of it because it was more red than an actual hole. So, I don't know, was it worth it? I don't know. It was good to work on the car for an afternoon, and 
I don't know. It's it was a cheap switch up that I made the car look a little bit better and have a different look, right? So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, go down and hit the like button. If you made it this far in the video, um, go help me and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I'm coming up on my full year of YouTube and I kind of want to see how many subs I can get in a full year. So, uh, help your boy out and uh, keep looking forward to the next further 3.7 GT500 V6 content. Roddy's rise out of here. Well, somebody wants my attention.